Hi guys, uh, a couple of bits arrived today. Um, as you probably remember, I, I've got one of those uh, IU or however you pronounce it, 852 hot air stations. I've had it for oh, years and years now. Um, but the only t the only nozzles I ever had were the supplied round nozzles, and uh, I thought it was about time to just test drive a couple of uh, nozzles and uh, I found these on eBay and I ordered uh, a BGA nozzle and uh, a quad flat pack nozzle uh, I'm looking for the specifications on here but well, it says it's a model 3939W uh, and I have a sneaky feeling it was for 38 by 38 mm uh, BGAs I'm just going to get the Calipers out and just measure that quickly. Yeah, it is actually 38, so you would think the code would be uh, 3838, wouldn't you? But just thought I'd quickly show you this. This was, I think, 10 or 11 pounds plus the uh, postage, which is 150. Uh, it's uh, from uh, PCB soldering, uh, which are also called Allendale stores. I have contacted them in the past about um, getting some stuff on the forum. In fact, I've contact contacted them numerous times over the years, and uh, they've always said, "Yeah, we'll do something," and, and never get around to doing anything. So I thought, well, you know, I was hoping we might get some equipment for review, that sort of thing, but it's never happened. I guess they're not uh, not too interested in the TV trade side of things. Um, so I thought I'd just have to order these and uh, check them out myself. So yeah, this is a BGA nozzle, 38 by 38 size uh, chip. Um, it's quite nicely made, obviously from China. There is a um, uh, obviously the mesh to spread the heat, and I'm hoping this will make things a lot easier and uh, will also allow me to direct the heat uh, more carefully. You'll remember from that last video, I was happily heating things away and not realizing that scar socket was uh, was beginning to uh, to melt so uh, yeah we've got that um, and the other one we have got was a quad flat pack again i've gone for the larger sizes the scrap boards i've got i think probably you know i can use uh, these uh, the larger ones rather than the small ones again similar just pushes onto the hot air nozzle and you just do that screw up on the side. Uh, this time there is just air coming around the outer edges apart from right in the corners as you can see in each corner there's a little bit of metal there obviously to hold it all together you can't cut it all away and uh, uh, yeah the air just goes down there through the slots in the bottom and uh, you know, again I'm hoping that that will uh, make things uh, easier and more accurate with less likelihood of damaging or blowing surrounding components off with the uh, with the hot air gun. Of course, the long term uh, long term we will have a dark infrared upper heater, and you know, we won't uh, perhaps need these. But I, you know, I've been meaning to get a couple of these for ages, so I thought I should just uh, invest in a couple. Now, the other thing that arrived today was the uh, PC. Um, for 10 from uh, well I thought it was coming from China but the, the post uh, box that it the bag that it came in said uh, Singapore post so I'm guessing it actually came from Singapore um, as I said this is the uh, Altec PC 410 and this is the controller that virtually every one of these uh, Chinese BGA rework station seems to use as the upper heater controller. Um, okay, I'm not going to power this up now, I'll do that on another video, but it was a, just a quick look. Of course this is uh, programmable, you can select multiple steps, uh, you can set the ramp uh, values and you can also set dwell times just to allow the board to uh, reach a set temperature and stabilize before you then ramp up to the next temperature. Um, it's also used on uh, one or two of the machines as the bottom uh, preheater controller. Uh, I think that's a you know much better idea rather than to use the 
a Rex C100 that you know, really is just uh, on or off, or um, uh, or you, as you've seen in the other videos, you have to manually uh, set it and adjust the temperatures, which isn't a massive problem, but it's nowhere near as convenient as uh, as this. This has got some supplied uh, little metal rails that just slide off. Again, I've no idea how I'll mount this in the uh, in the end. So yeah, that's the front panel. Then on the top we have all of the uh, terminals. Uh, as you'll see, this one can be connected to uh, an RS-232 or um, is it RS-485? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, so you can actually plug this into the computer uh, with a USB adapter if you haven't got the correct port on the back already. And uh, I have managed to download some software which doesn't look fantastic, but uh, at some point uh, in the future I'm hoping we might be able to get this talking to the, the PC or laptop uh, so we can actually um, control this uh, with, the, uh, with the laptop and see the reflow profiles and, and things like that. Um, also, I hadn't realised this, but if you look here, you have a uh, momentary stop uh, button uh, and a run button. Uh, so you can uh, actually start and stop the process with uh, you know separate buttons, whereas the uh, the Rex uh, is you know as soon as you power it on at the mains it's doing its thing, uh, but this one you can obviously have uh, wire in some extra switches, and uh, you've just got the stop and run uh, facility, which is nice. And I think this also has uh, you've got the the usual. Rex C100 style. Where are we? I'm looking at the wrong thing. Hang on a sec. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's your usual relay output, but it also seems to have a solid state uh, relay output as well, which is, um, I think, explained on this uh, other side. Um, it tells you what version it is, what type of thermocouple you can use, the temperature range and uh, again this is backwards for me now but I think it says output one is logic so that's for switching your solid state relay and uh, output two is the more usual relay um, terminals obviously all on the back this is exactly the same as the Rex C100 uh, you have to press and hold that down slide a nail in there and run that around and then this whole Whole thing will, he says, come off. Yeah, there we go. So we have the same issue as before. We've got these uh, spring tension contacts in there. Like I said in the other video, not a huge fan of that. May well um, decide to hardwire this again. Uh, it depends, uh, you know. We'll uh, we'll see. Just a quick look at uh, the board again. You know, not uh, rather like the Rex C100. Not a hell of a lot going on on the outer boards. There's uh, a couple of relays fitted here, uh, and I also notice this one. The mains input is uh, fused. Now I can't remember. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm not sure the Rex was fused. I'll have to replay the videos on that and uh, and have a look. The uh, the soldering isn't uh, isn't too bad. There is a slightly dodgy one just there, and if you look inside, that is one of the terminals for that small transformer, but. You know, overall it's a similar build quality to the, the Rex, um, so I'm hoping there will be no particular issues with it. Um, so yeah, that's it, I just thought I'd show you uh, these today. Um, Zen has sent me another metal topped BGA to uh, try and re-ball and uh, this time I will be 
uh, preheating the board and um, I will then uh, you know for a number of hours at about 100 degrees just to make sure there's no moisture uh, in there and uh, and then we shall use the the new preheater and the IPM heatsink and my uh, silicon squeegee just to remove the solder balls and uh, you know hopefully this time there'll be uh, no damage uh, whatsoever so yeah that's it just a quick look at this uh, Altec PC410 and uh, the two IO uh, nozzles there's a huge range of different nozzles from the tiniest little BGAs to, uh, well, to, to virtually every chip um, PLCC, quad flat pack, uh, you name it, there is a, uh, a nozzle uh, to suit. Um, and you know, not, not a bad price. Obviously, if you need to buy 40 or 50 different nozzles, you're talking a lot of money. But I expect to just sort of uh, buy the one or two as and when required, with these uh, being useful for uh, forum video use. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the forum.